Sir, can you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is uh, Dr. Jim Kokonakis. I'm an optometrist in the uh, Sydney CBD and I'm also a senior lecturer at the University of New South Wales in the Optometry School. How many people come and see you every week suffering from CDS? As far as numbers are concerned, um, we probably see about uh, 80 patients per week and uh, at least half of those have uh, computer vision syndrome. That's a high proportion. I guess that's because you're in the Sydney CBD? Yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons, but uh, I think it's also because I've taken a special interest in uh, computer vision syndrome and um, over time people seem to have uh, sought out our practice. So what is your advice to people who come and see you with computer vision syndrome symptoms? Well, you really need to uh, think about the, where the problem starts from, and it starts in your office uh, in front of a computer screen. So there's all sorts of things like ergonomics of the, uh, of the situation, uh, plus what computer screen you're using, taking regular breaks, um, even blinking exercises. Having the correct pair of glasses, uh, of course, is critical to uh, making sure that we minimise the impact of this condition. So is there one computer screen that's better than another for our eyes? Yes, I think there is. Um, BenQ has incorporated a, a new technology uh, in their computer screens uh, to eliminate flicker and reduce uh, the emission of blue light. Uh, and I think that um, that's a great option. Is it something you talk to your patients about, upgrading their computer screens? Uh, all the time. Um, in fact, I've been using a uh, BenQ uh, flicker-free monitor now for the last three months, so I, I believe in it. You found a discernible difference? Uh, no question about it. You know, I, you do suffer a suffer of CDS? I sure am. I mean, you see my glasses. I <laughs> I wear glasses and uh, I do a lot of reading, and uh, consequently, it's imperative for me to be able to be able to concentrate all day and uh, absorb the information that I need to do all day. What would your advice be to parents of young children who are using digital technology as part of their everyday life? The uh, first thing I'd like to do is uh, alert them to the fact that uh, digital technology is uh, responsible for a, a significant increase in a condition called myopia. So that they need to be aware of that. And the easy thing for parents to do is to uh, let the kids play on a computer screen all day and really we need to um, be mindful that um, it can be damaging to their very uh, young eye muscles. So kids' eyes are more susceptible to CVS than adults? Oh, there's no question about it, and um, and then, but it, it also goes beyond that because uh, they will actually get uh, permanent changes to their eyes, uh, which adults um, really don't seem to uh, suffer from. So, are more kids wearing glasses today than they were in generations past because of computer use? I think it is, and the uh, in Australia, as an example, we've had a, as I said before, a 100% increase in the uh, amount of children that wear glasses. But what is even more startling is if you uh, go to uh, Asia where those children are, are made to um, try and learn from a very, very young age. The one study in um, the University of Singapore showed that 97% uh, of females and 94% of males are in fact my, myopic or short-sighted today. And that we feel is uh, directly attributed to uh, computer use. And in rural areas where kids aren't using computers, has there been an increase in the rate of myopia? Doesn't seem to be at all. I mean, these uh, children in the rural areas of China, as an example, are, um, uh, are illiterate. Therefore, they don't really read or look at a computer screen at all. And the incidence of myopia in, the, in that, those communities is uh, about 2%. And in Australia, it's? We're probably about 20 to 25% uh, when we look at um, uh, a generation before. Uh, today it's uh, approaching 50%. Doubled. 100%. Mm. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.